goes forward. So they're locked away for race one. Ten starters, 1,000 metres of distance. Here's Bob Lyle, the starter, coming around to his stand. Ready to go, racing quickly, getting out was Glam Rock, only Emma's showing some speed too, and uh, going fast along the outside was Albert Tessa. It's very keen up front when they settle down, where only Emma holds the lead. Glam Rock gets up on its inside, being followed by Albert Tessa. Then the next horse further back in the field, we can see Astral Odyssey, Baluda's in that bunch of horses too, being followed by Carbors, a long way back to Boom Co. Manifica was second to last, in quest and at the last of the film was Cluster Fest. Only Emma leads the way. When they come around the side, she leads by about a length at this stage from Clam Rock. Up on the outside, Fudge, and it's running second. Now it's going to be the danger to Only Emma. It's moving up very menacingly. They're going to be followed then by Balut, who's coming into the race as well. And further back was Astral Odyssey, Manifica. Up towards the home turn, Only Emma, the rail, leads the way. Fudge, and that's on the outside. is challenging very, very quickly. The rider goes for the whip on Only Emma, but Fudge, and it goes up on its outside and goes to the lead. These two are having a great battle, being followed by Astral Odyssey, who's coming home. Only Emma's ticking back gamely, but Fudge, and it's got it now. And Astral Odyssey might blow them all away. No, uh, Oh, it's tight between Astrology, Fudge and it. Only Emma was a game third. They were followed then by Carbors, who ran on well. Then Manifica, who was making plenty of ground. Balut was the next one in. Followed further back in the field by Clam Rock, Clusterfest, never in it, Boom Co. And Albert Tessa was last. Very good race, though. It wouldn't surprise me if Astrology got up on the outside. It's tight. I was about to say Fudge and it had won, then Astrology just loomed up on the outside. But between these two... Only Emma boxing on very courageously for third after the running of a very competitive race one here at Gladstone. Look to have the race parcelled up, Swiss X, oh, but you have managed to catch it out of the corner of your eye, and it's a long run in here at Eagle Farm, isn't it? And uh, you'll get found out if you're just taking those short strides, and the horse from the, the west was able to do the job. Sure is. And the runners are moving in for the Forex Doomman Cup. The loading is underway. There's Zaki on the big screen. Tab one. We've seen him here on four previous occasions in Queensland. He made a clean sweep last. Standing by for the uh, numbers to be semaphored between Astral Odyssey and uh, it. Great finish. Only Emma is third, so judge will obviously examining the print. We're just waiting for notification, so we'll just stand by. But if I had to say, I'd Say Astral Odyssey, but uh, please, it's uh, very tight. Just about set to go. 2,100 metres. McDonald winning earlier on Big Boy Roy. Zaki goes in. And now we're set. Million Dollar Group 1 Doomman Cup for Forex. Light on. Racing. No delay. Zaki, one of the best to go on the other side of the track. Yonkers began with purpose. Polly Gray's going forward, just keeping Zaki wide early. Kukaracha settling in fourth position in the first call, and then Maximal. Twedor going over onto the rail, followed by the chosen one, Esti Feeney. Coventina Bay and Great House dropped out to last. Over the crossing, short of 1,800 left to Rana. Polly Gray crosses Yonkers. Zaki now outside the pair. He's travelling in second position now, Zaki. Kukaracha fourth, one away from the rail, and Esti Feeney is three wide, but pushing on in the early part. Then came Wedor down on the rail, a tad worse in midfield on the inside of Maximal. Two and a half to Coventina Bay, a length the chosen one, and two off last Great House. Along the back straight, 1,400 left to run. Polly Gray's in the leading role, and Zaki sits up in second, three quarters of a length back. Yonker's getting a decent run, third on the fence. Likewise, Kukaracha, he's fourth, basically in a one-out and one-back trail, and he's right on the back of the right horse, Zaki. Esti Feeney caught three wide, and that's where it'll stay. Twedor was next, about sixth on the rail, inside of Maximal, who's keen to go a bit faster, and then came Coventina Bay, the chosen one in Great House. They leave the back straight and move to the side. 900 left to run, eight length spans the Newman Cup field, and Polly Gray attempting to lead all of the way, but Zaki is right there on the outside, now about a half a length away as they go down to the 800. Astral Odyssey's got it here, deceiving margin, a half ahead. Half ahead to Astral Odyssey, who uh, sprouted wings over the last uh, closing stages. It has got up to defeat uh, the very game Fudge in it, and uh, third went to only Emma. Stand by clutch. 